What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. For this camera comparison we have three very exciting phones. We have the brand new Xiaomi Mi 11, we have the Samsung Galaxy S21 and of course the iPhone 12. As always throughout this video we are going to see a variety of daytime and nighttime sample pictures and videos and all the pictures that um, you are about to see are taken about a second apart from each other. Just before we start, make sure to press that like button and let's begin by checking out some pictures that I took at night with all three devices using the night modes and the main cameras. Alright, so after looking at those nighttime pictures that I took with the main cameras on the back of the three devices, I have to say that all three devices do really well, so you can't really go wrong with either device. But looking at those pictures closer, it seems that the S21 and the iPhone have the sharpest pictures, with the Mi 11 being the last one for picture sharpness. Now for color accuracy I feel that the Mi 11 does better than the other two followed by the S21 and um, with the iPhone being the last one. The iPhone tends to make those pictures look very yellow and I don't personally like that yellow look of um, those pictures. So if I would have to choose one for um, the main camera and of course the night mode I feel that I would choose in between the Mi 11 and the S21. They both seem to do pretty well but definitely leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Which device do you like for um, the night mode and the main camera? The Mi 11, the S21 or the iPhone 12? And next we are moving on to check out some pictures that I took with the ultra wide lenses on the back of the three devices and once again using um, a night mode. So all three devices support a night mode for um, the ultra wide cameras. Looking at those pictures, the color trend kind of continues. So the iPhone has the most saturated colors. If you look at those pictures taken by the iPhone, they all look kind of yellow. Personally, I'm not a big fan of that look, but I can imagine that some people may actually prefer that um, look. Next would be the Galaxy S21 with the Mi 11 having the most realistic looking color. So personally, I do prefer um, the pictures taken by the Mi 11 with the ultra wide lens. As for um, picture sharpness, it seems that the Mi 11 does better than the S21 and the um, iPhone 12. So once again, take a look at these pictures and leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Which ones um, do you prefer for the pictures taken with the ultra wide lenses? Next we are going to move on and check out some daytime pictures that I took with all three devices and all the daytime pictures you are about to see are taken on auto mode and about a second apart from each other. Alright, we are starting with some portrait mode pictures and after looking at the portrait mode pictures that I took I have to say that the edge detection from um, all the pictures seems to be somewhat similar in between the three devices so you can't really go wrong with either. Now looking at the colors I have to say that the Mi 11 does take the most realistic looking pictures however those most realistic looking pictures may not necessarily be the best looking pictures because they just look somewhat boring. I kind of prefer the way the pictures from the S21 look but then if you look at my face and my girlfriend's faces um, we almost have like a filter um, over our faces we almost look like cartoons. So those pictures aren't great either. If there would be a possibility to combine all three pictures from all three devices, I think um, we'll have the best pictures. So for portrait mode pictures, I'm not even sure which one does um, the best because they're not that great. But um, definitely leave a comment and let me know um, your thoughts. Next we are moving on to some zoom pictures and for zoom pictures I've done 5 times zoom and only the S21 has a telephoto lens. The other um, two devices don't have telephoto lenses on the back. Looking at those pictures, yes, the S21 does seem to have the sharpest pictures, but um, the Mi 11, even though it doesn't have a telephoto lens, um, has pictures that are very, very close to the ones taken by the S21. With the iPhone 12 being kind of left out because those pictures almost look like um, cartoons. So I feel that for 5 times zoom, um, the S21 does um, the best followed very close by the Mi 11 with the iPhone 12 being the last one. And we are moving on to pictures that I took with the ultra wide lenses on the back of the three devices. Well, the first thing I've noticed here is the fact that the S21 and the iPhone 12 have the somewhat wider field of view. So you can see in those pictures a bit more than you can see in the pictures taken by the Mi 11. Now for dynamic range, the S21 does seem to do better in every single picture. There is uh, no comparison there. And I never thought I would say this, but the S21 also has the most realistic looking colors in those pictures. So for the ultra wide cameras, I do prefer every single picture taken by the S21. But what do you guys think about these pictures? Which ones do you prefer? The ones from the Mi 11, S21 or the iPhone 12? And lastly, pictures taken with the main cameras. Well, for these pictures, I don't think you can go wrong with either device. They all do pretty good. In some pictures, the Mi 11 has the best pictures. For some pictures, the S21 has the best pictures. And for some, the iPhone 12. 
So for daytime pictures and the main camera, you can't really go wrong with either device. However, I've noticed that the S21 does seem to have the better dynamic range in most of those pictures. So the S21 does better for that um, aspect. So I can't really say which one would be the best one because they all do pretty good. But um, if you guys have any thoughts, definitely leave a comment and let us know your thoughts um, in the comments down below. So I'll let you guys watch a few more pictures and I will be right back. Next, we're gonna move on and check out some sample daytime and nighttime video recordings that I've done with all three devices. Now, keep in mind that it was a bit windy in some of those recordings, so you may wanna turn down the volume for your headphones or your phone because it does get a bit loud in some of those recordings. So keep that in mind. So I'll let you guys watch those sample recordings and definitely leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts about um, the video quality. All right, we have a quick recording with the main cameras on the Mi 11, the iPhone 12, and of course the Galaxy S21. For this recording, I'm doing 4K at 30 frames per second and um, recording with the main camera. We're gonna walk this way. It gets a bit windy about here. So you're probably gonna hear some wind aside from my voice, so just about here. We're gonna stop somewhere around here and we're gonna pan left in a second. Towards the water there. And then we walk this way for a bit. And I'm also gonna do a bit of running so you can see how the image stabilization works um, if you're recording in 4K 30 frames per second. So yeah, main cameras 4K 30 frames per second between the Mi 11, the iPhone 12, and of course the Samsung Galaxy S21. For our next recording, I'm using the ultra-wide lenses on the back of the Mi 11, the iPhone 12, and of course the Samsung Galaxy S21, and recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. All three devices can also do 4K at 60 frames per second. So I'm just gonna walk this way, I'm gonna run for a bit so you can see how the stabilization looks like. It's also quite windy, so you're probably gonna hear some wind aside from my voice. I'm gonna stop here, we'll pan left slowly. and back right and we'll walk a bit towards the sun basically so yeah this whole recording with the ultra wide lenses on the back of the three devices and recording in 4k at 30 frames per second would look like all right we have a quick video recording with the front facing cameras on the xiaomi mi 11 the iphone 12 and of course the samsung galaxy s21 now the iPhone and the Samsung Galaxy S21 can do 4K at 60 frames per second with the front facing cameras where um, the Xiaomi Mi 11 can only do 1080p at 30 and 1080p at 60 frames per second. So you may uh, see a uh, difference in the video quality. So we'll turn around this way, I'm gonna run for a bit just so you can see how the image stabilization works. It's also a bit windy and we'll turn around once again. So yeah, this is how a recording with the front-facing cameras um, on the three devices would look like. Alright, we have a quick video recording between the Samsung Galaxy S21, the Xiaomi Mi 11 and of course the iPhone 12. For this recording I'm using the main lenses on the back of the three devices and recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. So we're gonna walk this way, just so you can see how the image stabilization works um, while walking. Aside from my voice, you're probably gonna hear a bit of wind. It is a bit windy and maybe some traffic to my left. All right, so we'll keep going this way. We are um, walking towards that building, basically. And from what I'm seeing on the screens here, the S21 does seem to do the best. But again, we'll have to see how this footage actually looks on the computer. So we're gonna stop here. We're gonna pan left slowly. We'll keep going and we'll walk towards the lights. So yeah, this is how recording in low light between the Samsung Galaxy S21, the Xiaomi Mi 11 and the iPhone 12 would look like if you're recording in 4K and 30 frames per second and with the main lenses. Okay, and we are moving on to another quick recording in low light between the Samsung Galaxy S21, the Mi 11 and of course the iPhone 12. Now, for this recording, I'm using the ultra-wide lenses on the back of the two devices, and once again, I am recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. 
Now here you're gonna hear a lot more noise aside from my voice. We have that water all the way there. I'm not sure if you can see it. I can actually see it the best on the screen of the S21. But um, again, we have to see how this footage looks um, on the computer. So yeah, this is how a recording would look like in low light if you are recording with the ultra wide lenses on the back of these three devices. So what do you guys think about those video recordings? It almost feels like the S21 does better than the iPhone in a lot of situations. So I feel that for video recordings, the S21 does better overall. I'm talking about image stabilization, um, the sound from um, the internal microphone and so on. So pretty impressed by the S21. All right, next we are moving on to some selfies and looking at some daytime selfies that I took with all three devices, well, hmm. I mean, they all look pretty decent, but I feel that overall the S21 does win the daytime selfies. Um, it's kind of a combination between the selfies from the Mi 11 and the iPhone 12. I don't know. At least in my opinion, the S21 does um, a bit better for those um, daytime selfies. As for nighttime selfies, there is really no comparison. The S21 does better than um, the other two. So there you have it. The Samsung Galaxy S21, the Mi 11, and of course the iPhone 12. If you'd be to choose one of them, just one of them, which one would you choose for pictures and videos? Definitely leave a comment and let me know. All right, guys, don't forget to press that like button. Hopefully you did like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.